Tonight, new details in the E. coli outbreak rocking fast food giant McDonald's as the first lawsuit is filed. The CDC confirming the nearly 50 people infected range in age from 13 to 88, with 10 hospitalized and close to 20 stemming from one western Colorado county where officials say one person has died. Meanwhile, the CDC teaming up with the USDA and FDA, interviewing infected customers, examining beef used in the menu mainstay, the quarter pounder, and officials say the likely culprit, raw slivered onions. Food safety is, you know, our top priority at McDonald's. McDonald's president this morning on today stressing the company has pulled the quarter pounder and its onions from menus in affected states and fielding a question about where else those onions might be sold. We're going to work closely with the CDC and work closely with our supplier. I don't want to speculate uh, where uh, those other um, uh, products might have gone. The FDA declining to name the onion supplier. This after the CDC confirms they were first alerted to cases of E. coli in Colorado nearly two weeks ago, adding they flagged McDonald's a week later, though investigators didn't connect cases to the quarter pounder until the weekend, prompting it to be pulled. Do you expect numbers to keep going up amid this outbreak? We do expect the number of illnesses to, to go up. Um, we think that's going to be driven by people who ate um, quarter pounders at McDonald's before they took these actions. Customers watching what happens next. I'm very frustrated because my kids like McDonald's. Experts say McDonald's has a long road ahead, but note brands have bounced back from crises like these by prioritizing food safety and public transparency. Lester. All right, man. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.